how are you i hope you all are fine today we are going to start lesson number 3 the name of the lesson is journey of food the journey of food here means how food reached from field to the market and to our house as we know that we all need food to live without food we cannot live because food gave us energy with the help of energy we are able to play and do any work food helps in growth also and keep us healthy and protects us from various diseases now work in a field smita taking breakfast and dinner she wonder how food fits to the to her pl- plate she asks her grandmother to tell her the process of food that reached to her her grandmother told the journey of food to smita as we know food fruits vegetables pulses cereals are grown by farmers in the field first of all farmers prepare the soil by plowing in the picture number 1 you you can see the man is using tractor in the field to prepare the soil after plowing they mix furrow in which seeds are put on the earth for growing plants you can see in the second picture after plowing the field seeds are put in the furrow this process is called sowing after sowing seeds they need water to grow water is supplied to the field by wells or two wells then we add manure we can call as a khad also and fertilizers to the soil to make soil rich in minerals they spray pesticides and insecticides in the field to kill insects and pests to protect the crop from the birds and animals farmer puts scarecrows in the field to so that animals and birds will be scared of it and do not come to field you can see in the picture when crops get ripe it is time to cut the crop cutting crops when they are ripe is called harvesting this cutting is done by machine or sickles you can see in the picture the sickle after cutting is over they put grains in gunny bags and put it in the truck and transported to wholesale market shopkeepers and the vendors go to the wholesale market and buy the grains for their shop and we buy sugar oil cereals pulses from the grocer we call grocer as a karyana store we buy we buy vegetables from green grocer sabzi wala and fruits from the fruit sellers in this way smita understood how our food traveled from farmers to the shopkeeper now we are talking about the spices we call spices as a masala you have not you have noticed that your mother adds spices like ginger garlic cloves chili powder turmeric in food to give flavor and taste to the food these spices have strong fragrance some spices have medicinal values also which is used as a medicine first of all talk about the chili we add chili powder in the food to make it spicy and chili is also used in food items like sauces and pickles second point is turmeric we call as a haldi turmeric is used in food to make food yellow and it is also used to dye the yellow color in the clothes if we get hurt our elders apply turmeric powder to your wound it will heals your wound faster turmeric is also used to make cosmetic creams and the third point is black pepper we call as kali mirch black pepper is most popular spices in the world it gives nice flavor to the food and a fourth point is cloves we call as a long 
Cloves look like nails. Cloves oil give relief to toothache. Toothache means daad ke dard mein aram deta hai. It is also used in perfume and soaps. Well students, these are some spices like cloves, cardamom and turmeric we can recognize or identify by smelling. Which spices is this? And black pepper and cinnamon can be recognized by tasting. So students, plant gives us many useful things which is useful for our life. Students, nowadays you are in at home. Ask your mother for spices which she had in her kitchen. She will show you the spices and know this, know their names. Thank you.